double a state championship it features the seven and eight regular season record of the falconer falcons versus the 16 and 0 regular season champions out of the bay rivers district and region one the tab tigers uh, we're taking care of the toy toss to start and the falconer falcons will be in red from my right uh, and the Tab Tigers will be in white from my left. The Tab Tigers record now sits at 22 and 0. They scored over 150 goals this year, and the Fauquier Falcons have given up only 20 goals this year. So this should be a very interesting game, and something's going to have to give today. Uh, you got a real prolific offense against a really good defense. Key today could be the play of Bailey Hilton, who will be the goaltender for the Falcons. Looks like we got two goals today. We're going to have one will be how well does the defense of Fauquier play against the Tab Tigers offense, as prolific as it is. And then it's going to be the midfield play and see whether or not Fauquier can handle the pressure of the four-time defending state champions, Tab Tigers. They're going to, if they can win today and then consequently win tomorrow, they would have their fourth undefeated season of 24-0 uh, out of those five years with their only blemish of 21-3. Tab has won the toss and elected to take the center pass. Ali Harmatz will be the one to start the game. And we're officially underway. Fauquier is going to attempt to take the ball to the outside. Uh, fouls created with a quick self-start from Melissa Progar. Carries it in on the right side of the edge. And there's our first goal of the game. 18 seconds into the play uh, would be Melissa Progar to Ali Harmatz with the score being 1-0 tab. Off the self start, Courtney King is going to drop back pass to Macy Peebles in the center. Uh, this team for Tab has got a lot of really, really good players that have been playing together for a well several years. Uh, a lot of great skill on the team. That's a good, good defensive stop by the Fauquier Falcons, keeping the ball outside the circle. Macy Peebles, who will be going to U University of Virginia next year. It's going to play, uh, play defensively, get the ball back on her side. The pressure that Tab is going to put on Fauquier will be the, I'm sure will be the most amount of pressure that they've seen all year. Uh, again, with Tab scoring 150 goals, they know how to play on their side. As you can see, the, the setup that they have already, they're playing a very tight formation. Uh, they're playing with three forwards up top. Uh, they're playing with uh, three to four defenders, or midfielders, I'm sorry, in the middle. Um, and that allows them to transition their uh, one of their midfielders back to defense if needed. Uh, Mason Peebles made a nice pass up there to Melissa Progar. And Melissa Progar earns the first corner of the game. Got Morgan Ryan leading the defense for Fauquier, number three. And Victoria Kronick, uh, Victoria on the fly. Megan Deal, and ball came inside the circle a little bit too high. That's going to be Fauquier's free hit at a 16. And it's a drive by Haley Miller, one of their captains. 
and picked up by Ali Harmatz with a reverse chip. And it tipped off one of the Falkier Falcon sticks, and it'll be a long hit for Courtney King and the Tab Tigers. Ball over the end line will come right out straight up to the 16. Haley Miller will start on the restart. Picked up in the midfield by Falkier. Last touch by the Falkier Falcons going over the end line, and it's coming out. Haley seems to be the cornerstone for the Falcons. Uh, gets a drive up the field. She's shifting the fields, stretching it, uh, stretching the defense. It's going to roll all the way down over the end line. And Tab will be forced to start back in their, their own zone uh, with a 16 coming out. Larissa Morton will take the self-start. She likes to pass it, and off of Falcon or Falcon's foot, goes out of bounds. She'll restart again off the sideline. Nobody touched it. Ball was forced outside over the sidelines, and the Falcons will pick it up just inside the midfield line. Megan Deal uh, attempted to do the self-start. Now Melissa Progar won the steal. She dribbles past one, one defender, two. And she takes a pass across. Have a delayed foul. She's still dribbling in. Very nice. And over the end line. As you can see, the, the Falcons took five girls down on the one side. Uh, really are trying to... Uh, corner tab into one edge they pick up the ball Falcons do they got lower to 50 Allie White carrying the ball carried over to 25 injects it into the circle and went underneath Larissa Morton's legs and evidently touched her so that's going to be a long hit for the Falcons in front of the tab bench Megan Deal is going to move up the field to take the long hit. Falcons have pushed two down low inside the circle up on the cage. They have another three girls that are inside the circle. They're going to try to work the edge and potentially get a, it was a good play by Larissa Morton with a nice drive coming out, and she's now stretching the field. Morgan Ryan collects the ball. And she's looking for a pass on the outside. Allie Harmatz picks the ball up with a nice pass to Macy Peebles. Comes through her. Courtney King comes in and follows behind her. Drop pass to Maddie Landers, who's attempting to make a earn a corner. And shot just wide by Taylor Umweg. That's three shots on goal so far. Only one save. Three shots, I'm sorry. Only uh, two of them were on cage. One for a goal. And Tab leads 1-0. We're about six minutes and 45 seconds into the first half. Falcons attempted to get out of their zone. And the ball was picked off by Tab and then reacquired by Falcons. Macy Peebles trying to control the midfield. This is Courtney King. That ball went over the end line. That'll be a 16 coming out for the Falcons. Haley Miller is going to take the restart again. Nice hit up the middle. Stretches the field to the 50. Picked up by Betsy Wusk on the outside. Sent up the middle. 
Courtney King with the ball. Allie Harmass trying to navigate through the circle. Trying to earn a corner. Got a delayed advantage, and there's the corner. That's the second corner of the game for Tab. A high percentage of Tab's goals this year have been scored on their, their set corner plays. Uh, they have a lot of really nice communication between each other. Chris passes. Ball's passed out. Comes to Taylor Onweg. Across. Melissa Progar. And she attempts to pull it back and go left. And the Falcons defended it and forced it over the end line. And that'll be a long hit for Tab. Haley Mills will take the she takes the restart on the long hit. Uh, Haley's also going to school next year, playing for Lafayette out of Pennsylvania. Falkier is going to try to keep it on the edge. Uh, very nice edge shot by, reverse edge shot by number 12, Megan Deal. Bowl rolls over the end line, and it'll be the Falcons ball coming out. Played about nine minutes of this first half, and we've been down in the, in this side of the field about eight minutes of that time frame. Uh, as expected, this was going to be the challenge for Falkier, uh playing a team that scores so many goals like Tab does. As you can see, any time that ball moves, every player on Tab's team is moving. Uh, Haley Mills is defended. by Lindsay Smorelli. Uh, she attempted to come up and Betsy Wusk picks up the ball. Uh, they're, they're playing a very nice help defense right now. That's Haley Mills with the strike. Uh, picked off by Megan Deal. And again, they're trying to stretch the field. Uh, that's Marissa O'Brien. Uh, Marissa next year will be playing for Appalachian State. Or uh, Tab's trying to work at left edge. Picked up by Taylor Onweg, and they're starting to communicate. They're getting a little bit cluttered uh, as they start to spread out. Uh, they make some opportunities. Uh, nice shot and save. Allie Harmetz on the shot, and a, and a wonderful save with her hand pad by Bailey Hilton. She knocked it out of bounds. That'll be a long hit to Haley Mills. Back over Larissa Morton injects the ball into the circle. Uh, picked up by Melissa Progar on the delay. It continues through, and that's a score from Melissa Progar to Ali Harmatz for the second time today. Ten minutes and 32 seconds into the first half, and it's tab two, Fauquier zero. They're really starting to assert their pressure up on the offensive side of the ball. And Alley coming up to pressure the girl, coming on the outside. Commits a foul. Uh, they're working that. When they get down inside the circle, they're doing a nice job of working that right side circle with a beautiful cross. Now Melissa's going to come down again. You could see another repeat on this. Same thing. And nice save that time. Very nice. Bailey Hilton on the save again. Taylor Onwed injecting into the ball, into the circle. Melissa Progar attempting to work it to get a corner. And Fauquier touches it just before it goes over the end line. So that'll be a long hit to Haley Mills of Tab. Uh, she's not getting any pressure up top, so she's just going to pass it to the inside for Macy, who will inject the ball into the circle, look for something good. Uh, a lot of bodies inside with Fauquier. They're literally packing the circle with all ten girls. Uh, that's a high ball by Fauquier. So the Haley Mills will get a free hit going in. Uh, there's a lot of congestion inside the circle. Uh, ball picked up. There'll be obstruction on tab. And the Falcons will bring the ball out at the 16.
play on. Free up by Haley Miller. High ball off the edge. That strike was taken by Lauren Mitchum. Lauren being a junior year this year, could have a lot to look forward to next year. The tab loses several seniors off their starting team. Foul called on the other side of the field for a third man interference. Tab will restart off the left side. Pull back outside the 25. Makes it so much different. Uh, there is a big difference between inside and outside of the 25. Uh, inside the 25, uh, everybody has to be that five yards away from the ball. The ball coming in. Nice save again. Bailey Hilton again on the save. That's the seventh shot on goal. Haley Mills going to work the middle. Try to earn a corner, and she does. Third corner of the game. But getting back to that 25-yard, uh, outside the 25 with a free hit, uh, you can have your teammates within five yards of you, but not the defense. On the other side of the 25, going in, everybody has to be 25 away. I mean, five away, I'm sorry. And you have to dribble or control the ball for five yards of passing between teammates before you inject into the circle. Whereas on the outside of the 25, you can simply drive it toward the cage. Tab on the corner, injects to Melissa Progar, takes a strong strike, hits off of the Fauquier, uh, delayed call, and then we had a stick obstruction by Tab. It'll be Falcons ball coming out. Haley Miller attempted again to control the ball in the middle. Lauren Mitchum put pre applied pressure up top to Elizabeth Maldon Maldonado. Uh, and that was an errant shot by Allie Harmatz on a reverse chip, a reverse edge shot, I'm sorry, reverse edge shot that went wide of the cage, about four or five feet. They now have taken uh, eight shots and converted two. And Bailey Hilton's played really well in the cage, uh, moving side to side. Uh, six saves already. Courtney King starting the ball in the middle of the field. Come back across to Miss Progar to Macy Peebles. Good block tackle by Larissa Morton. Haley Mills coming across. Going to try to get something working in the circle. Come across to Allie Harmatz again to Mills with the edge shot touch off of Haley Van and over the end line Haley Miller for another restart uh, she got the ball taken by Haley Van uh, who's trying to control the ball inside Miller and Van are battling in the corner foul against the Falcons and Courtney King will self-start the edge with Haley Van. Allie White on the breakaway. And they're trying to corner her uh, by playing really good uh, double and triple team defense. Uh, picked up on the backside by Maggie Galbany. And Fauquier is starting to mount something. Uh, Macy stops the ball just over to 25 and picks it up. Now it's a puts Allie Harmatz out in space where she really, really does well. Uh, nice dribbling down here. Now it's two on one. Uh, she goes with the reverse edge, and that's pushed away another shot by Bailey. That's seven saves. And now Allie's trying to create a foul, get a corner. Uh, the Lions play really tough inside the circle. Pass across the middle and over the end line by Haley Miller. So that will give Tab another long hit.
Haley was looking for the cutter on that play. And now Larissa Morton attempts to inject the ball, and she goes over the end line. So that would be a free hit for the Falcons coming out. Tad this year and being 22-0 has had 18 shutouts this year. As you can see, they really bring their defense up and apply a lot of pressure to the midfield, yet staying spread out. They're not trying to overcompensate because of how many players the Falcons are putting in certain areas. They're playing uh, really good control, doing a nice job of, of working together with each other. And there's another goal for Ali Harmatz. That gives us the hat trick. And that came from Haley, uh, Haley Van. About 12 minutes remain in the first half with the score tab three, Falkier zero. And that'll be a timeout for Falkier. It'll be their first one. In VHSL play, you get two timeouts per game, uh, and none if this game was to go or any game goes into overtime. No timeouts are extended into overtime. Coaches right now uh, for Falkier, I'm sure, are trying to discuss uh, responsibilities and assignments inside the 25. And when any time that they have a chance to break out, how to extend the field and how to make the most out of those opportunities. For TAB, the focus is uh, most likely to keep that pressure on, stay precise with the passing, and open up the opportunities inside the circle, um, and how to deal with two and three on one whenever they're being double and triple team. Uh, they're doing a really nice job right now, TAB is, of, of finding the open girl uh, and being very, very disciplined. Timeout has expired. Bring the players back out onto the field. Right now it's uh, tab three to zero over Falkier. They also have three corners to zero for Falkier and they have 10 shots to zero. Falkier may have to start taking some more chances in the midfield to try to spread tab out and get to the outside. Uh, the ball handlers on the inside of the field right now are, are weaving back and forth through Falkier's defense. On the restart, the Lions try to go wide left and they have pressure up on it but it's picked up by Larissa Morton with great pressure on the defensive side. A uh, little miscommunication uh, between Mills and Mitchum Mitchum carries the ball to the inside and a nice pass down low to Taylor Unwake. She's got two options backside. Uh, Bailey Miller makes a nice save. And goes outside, shot by Haley Van. Coach Wilson from TAB has uh, made some adjustments to her offensive lineup, trying to uh, give some give some of her role players some more uh, opportunities up top. Uh, so crucial in their success over the years to be able to get kids like this uh, some opportunities uh, for down the road that they can build on. Uh, Courtney King injects the ball into the circle trying to earn a corner. Another save shot by Haley Mills. <laughs> trying to work corners. Taylor Omweg got caught up in her feet a little bit. And so that will be the Lions ball or the uh, Falcons ball coming out. Haley Miller with the touch from Allie White. Uh, they seem to get the ball up there every once in a while, but they're not able to mount the charge. Here we go now. And here's Allie White on a breakaway. Uh, beats a tab defender. Gets some recovery on the backside by Macy Peebles. Uh, one fine midfielder. Uh, Macy Peebles this year was the uh, Bay Rivers District Player of the Year, and she was the co-region one player of the year. Nice pass up to Taylor Omweg. 
uh, loses a little bit of control of the ball. Haley Miller picks it up and drives, tries to get it back down past the midfield. Marissa O'Brien on a nice faint move. Gets the ball up to Haley Mills, who puts the ball into the inside. Taylor Armweg on the pass. They take the drive from the top. Nice save again by Bailey Hilton. We got a timeout on the field. We have a player down for the Lions. Uh, she's staying on the field. She'll be need to be replaced. That's Haley Miller. Got a little congested down low. And it looks like she twisted her ankle. She's going to be sobbed for Kieran. Let's see. It's going to be Jenny Norton is going to come in and make her take the replacement. Make the substitution. With that, Tab has a corner. They've earned their fourth corner. Okay, Tab's on their fourth corner of the day. Aaron Norton's in. Play resumes. We're about the 20 and a half part. Haley Van on the injection. A set piece. Just outside. It was a nice drive. Just outside looking for the touch. They're getting the shots. Uh, not all of them are, gonna, are on cage. They're missing a couple deflections on the edges. Um, I'm sure they'll keep the pressure up top and they'll just keep getting after it. Transitioning the ball up the field. Melissa Progar. A little too far for her forwards. Uh, that's one thing out here. Playing on this turf, this is a Division One turf at the National Training Center. Uh, none of these teams that are in the AA have turf like this that they play as their home field. Uh, it's a lot quicker of a surface. It takes just a little bit to get used to. They have had practice sessions here, but it is quite different than playing on grass or playing on a Division Three, uh, if you will, a FedEx-type field that has that's rubber-based and just a little bit longer. It's a nice drive on transition by Betsy Wusk. Deflected by the Falcons up into Haley Mills, created the foul. Haley Mills will take the self-start. Self Push it over, and actually Macy Peebles will take the self-start, trying to come through the middle. Picked up by Allie White. He's going to attempt to pass the ball up the field. Uh, good defensive pressure by Betsy Wusk. Stops the play. Allie Reeves is re Acquires the ball, creates another foul off the stick of Macy Peebles. This is the third or fourth time that the Falcons have had the ball up near the 25, and it was just outside the 25, so they could actually just drive the ball straight in. And she did that and earned a long hit. Two different styles of play here where Fauquier has seven girls up and have elected to keep three back playing defense. Whereas you'll watch uh, as we transition through the game, uh, that won't be the case with Tab. They will keep the constant pressure up. Again, as that ball moves, the entire field will move by about 25 to 30 yards spread apart. Ball in the middle with Macy Peebles. She looks up for the transition to Haley Van. Jenny Dorton playing defense on the right side of the defense. Another timeout on the field. Be Megan Deal. She'll be replaced on the field. She's being replaced by Savannah Markle.
play resuming with Mesa Peoples making a backdrop pass to Marissa O'Brien, who picks the ball back up and starts it over to 25. Uh, you can take a look. You can see there's two or three tab players, but there's literally five or six red. They're swarming to every ball, trying to cut off the passing lanes. We have about five minutes left in the first half. Score 3-0 tab. Outside pass from Betsy West to Haley Mills. Injected the ball into the circle. And again, Fauquier is just trying to get the ball outside the circle. Defended by Haley Miller. Self-started by Haley Mills. And Melissa Progar trying to earn the corner. And she does so. She earns the fifth corner of the game. So far, Tab has 14 shots to Falkier, zero, and they have five corners to zero. Injection out to Taylor Onway, clears the circle. Back to Progar, straight in the inside. Picked up again. There's a drive by Onway, wide left. Bailey Hilton's done a nice job today playing goalkeeper for Fauquier. Of the 15 shots on the cage, uh, 15 shots on goal by uh, by Tab. 11 of them have been on the cage, and she's made eight saves, given up three goals. Ball last touched by the Falcons. And controlled now in the midfield or in the middle of the, of the circle. And there's a goal. Scored by Taylor Umwake. Off an assist by Lauren Mitchum. That makes the score 4 0 tab. The crowd for Tab is really getting into the game. They've got their mascot over here today and a, a small contingent of the student population out here to support the girls. Uh, Taylor Umweg making a nice, nice run up the field. Block tackle by Haley Miller. Haley Mills picks up the outside. It's then picked up by Morgan Ames looking for the overlap pass to Macy Peebles. Real nice job down to the corner. She's going to get the injection in straight across. Haley Mills pushed it a little bit further and just off the stick of Haley Van. Ball will be coming out off the sideline on the right side. Ball stolen and picked up by Melissa Progar, taken into the circle, put on the cage, just left of the goal cage. Falkier is playing uh, one girl high, and they're literally putting about uh, five or six are playing pretty flat. That's a nice jab by Mackenzie Barrett. Haley Mills. Nice pass to the outside from Morgan Ames. She injects the ball across the middle. Uh, a delay foul coming for another save and shot and save. Play on the official says. Pro guard drop pass injected in. Third man interference when she stepped across. It's really hard to fault, uh, fault the player when that happens in that situation. She was trying to be unselfish and give up the ball. And unfortunately, uh, Falkier stepped up just a little bit to create it. Uh, but she makes up for it coming right down here. She's got her head in it, and she earns the sixth corner of the game for the Tigers. Right now they've put 21 shots 
taken 21 shots. They put uh, 14 of them on goal, and the goalkeepers made 10 saves. We got the injection. Come out, that's Haley Mills on the drive, and look for the deflection and wide left. Haley Miller's taking the free hit. The official redirects it. Rule is that wherever the ball goes over the end line by the opposing team, you must bring it out to an imaginary line about the 16 yard mark. So it went off the left side of the cage. She's got to bring it up to just outside the circle on the left-hand side. Foul was created just outside the circle, so Tab has to restart at the dash line. Courtney King injects the ball inside, and the ball rolls off of a Tab player and over the end line. Haley Miller will restart again. Pulls the ball back, trying to get a little separation. It's a drive, steps through the ball. Comes over to Hannah Beal. She vacates, and the Megan Deal back on the field, playing the left side, uh, attempts to uh, pass it to the inside, creates a foul that's picked up by Kara Enoch. Kara's looking, she takes a free hit, lifts the ball. Uh, you cannot lift the ball on a free hit. Uh, and that's determined by the official, uh, whether or not it was 18 inches or higher. It does not have to be dangerous. It's simply just not a, an allowed play. Melissa Progar picks up the midfield midfield pass, intercepts the ball, comes across to Courtney King. She works the ball back through, forces it to the top. Tab is trying to, yep, Tab is trying to earn a corner. And that's halftime. So at the end of the first half, the score is tab four, Fauquier zero. Statistics in the first half. What? Read this. The score is four to zero. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with the second half of the group, single A, double A, 2012 VHSL state semifinals in a few minutes. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're gonna come at you. One shot. Start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP.
You back yet? Hey, welcome back to the second half of the double-A, single-A state semifinal between the Tab Tigers and the Falkier Falcons. The score at halftime is 4-0. to zero. Statistics, Tab has earned six corners to the Falcons zero. They have had 22 shots uh, with 10 saves by Bailey Hilton. It's been mostly a defensive game for the Falcons, uh, trying to keep uh, Tab out of their 25. They're doing a nice job of double and triple team in every play. As they approach getting inside the 25, they're going to uh, they'll suck their defense down low. Uh, nice touch pass, and it's coming to Morgan Ames off the right side. Passes the ball in, and. A goal in the 43 seconds by Maddie Landers from Morgan Ames. It's a nice senior connection that she can bring off the bench and Coach Wilson, uh, bringing a couple more reserves that have experience that have played within her program for several years. Tab pushes the ball back by, number by Haley Mills. Larissa Morton passes the ball up 30 yards. Worked with Ali Harmatz as a center forward. Comes across by Maddie Landers. Picked up by the Falcons on the inside. Making deal in the center of the field. You need to take the drive up. And picked up by... Courtney King keeping the ball spread left all the way wide on the edge. They're going to try to inject the ball back across the middle, which Courtney Ding does, uh, looking to try to earn a foul. Melissa Progar uh, does a really nice job of putting the ball through the girl's legs for an obstruction call, injects the ball into the circle. Uh, no foul created by the Falcons. Now Courtney King is injecting the ball on the inside. Uh, picked up by Allie Harmatz. And a corner was called prior to the ball going in the cage. That'll be their seventh corner of the game. Bailey Hilton's done a really nice job in goal today. Ball's injected by Maddie Landers, picked up by Morgan Ames, who takes the strike on cage. And determined by the goalkeeper, I mean by the uh, the umpire, to be just a little bit high. And Haley Miller, uh, playing the primary defense, uh, lifted into the circle by Haley Mills, and that'll be a foul against the Tigers. And another 16 coming out, about the 16-yard mark. Being a captain. They're really relying on Haley Miller and her drives today to get them out of trouble in the midfield. It's a better hand. How about I do it like that? Okay. Falkier doing a couple touch passes. Still have control over the 50. Trying to work the ball up the middle. Pick up in the inside. Macy Peebles picks up the pass. Now it's a 5-1-3 with the Tab Tigers with Haley Mills. She pushes it straight up. It'll be picked up on the outside left edge by Courtney King. She gets an overlap by Macy Peebles, who pushes the ball in, creates the foul. It's a delay. Tab has the ball again inside the cage. Uh, one save. And then the shot by Ali Harmatz for the sixth goal of the game. That is her fourth goal. The 
The assist will come on by way of Maddie Landers and Allie Harmatz getting her fourth goal of the game. Uh, with that, Coach Wilson pulls her out of the game. We'll give more experience to the to the younger girls. Uh, she could be done for the day with a four-goal day. Megan Deal uh, attempts to uh, air dribble through. Uh, Cray LaFowle by being just a little bit too high and out of control. Uh, again, she picks up the ball, uh, doing a real nice job fighting for the ball and every loose ball on the inside and carrying it outside. She picks up the ball on the edge. Trying to dribble through to get two block tackles. Uh, one with, with stick, no a ball. And now they're bumping it up for a five-yard violation against the Tigers. Uh, they attempt to self-start. And Taylor Umwick playing defense, pushes the ball outside to Haley Van. Taking the ball down the left side, puts the ball to the inside. Maddie Landers picks up the ball. Another pass back out with a give and go. And this turf is just too fast right now. And it just got out of her reach. And the Falcons will have a 16 out. Coach Wilson, this has given her a great opportunity to, to make a lot of substitutions uh, with this game seeming to be well in hand with a six-goal lead. Uh, she'll be able to make some subs and oh, injection by Haley Van to Morgan Ames just wide of the cage. But knowing that she'll have the opportunity to defend her state championship tomorrow, uh, that four-time state champion, she'll have a chance to go for her fifth one tomorrow. Um, take that opportunity to rest some of these players because that game will be on tomorrow at 10.30 in the morning. They'll play the winner of Chancellor High School and Charlottesville High School. Larissa Morton tries the ball up through the left side of the 50. Uh, nobody touched it. So the Falcons will pick up the ball on the side. Megan Gabony, one of the captains, gets the ball across the midfield. Picked up by L.A. DeGallo and outside by Haley Miller. She's had a really nice day playing good defense. And now she's even moved up the field just a little bit. Uh, at this point, it, it wouldn't hurt if for Falkier to start putting a little bit more press on up on the front line uh, and, and put a little pressure on the tab. Um, tab has had the Falcons pinned back inside their 25 for the majority of the game. And they're going to be back down in there again because of the, the free hit that was just a little bit high by Haley Miller coming out. So Macy Peebles will start the self start, gets it across the circle, and it's going to start just outside the circle. Any foul created between the dash line and the circle has to be brought back out to the dash line for a free start or for a uh, uh, self start. Uh, Macy creates the foul, it's an advantage foul, so she's able to continue play. Uh, pass goes over to Care Enoch. Ball injected by Macy down low. And had the backside of the stick of Haley Van. So it'll come back out for the Falcons. Macy Peebles attempted to keep the ball in. Uh, great effort on her part. Have a couple new faces on the field for the Tigers. Uh, Coach Wilson's made quite a few changes in the midfield uh, right now. And we've got a dead ball. We're going to have a green card issued to number one, Taylor. Uh, no, check that. That'll be to number 19. 
for pushing in the midfield. Tab will restart the ball on the whistle. Larissa Morton on the self-start. And Fauquier was warned for the five-yard violation. Fauquier will restart the ball just outside the left edge. Haley Miller with the drive up the field. Controlled by Larissa Morton from Tab. Kerry Enoch attempted to, to uh, back tackle. Uh, was not clean. Foul was created. A back pass from the Falcons. Intercepted by Tab up to Haley Van, who makes a pass across. And that went to Chelsea Portuguese. Taylor Umweg on the drive and a score. That was a beautiful drive by Taylor Omweg just inside the circle. And that'll be unassisted. That gives Taylor Umweg two goals on the day. And uh, currently there's only three girls left on that field for Tab. Uh, three or four that haven't come out of the game the, the entire game. Um, so important going into tomorrow's game that not everybody comes out at the same time. That there's uh, shift changes. And you, you need to maintain that continuity going into the state championship game tomorrow. Uh, She's got uh, four seniors out there right now that are, are just uh, all could or would be playing Division One next year with Betsy Wusk and Marissa O'Brien and uh, Haley Mills and Macy Peebles that are just keeping that pressure on. They are the, uh, the cornerstone of their team. Falcons pick up the ball on the outside left edge. Uh, step over the ball, and Haley Mills picks it up on the restart. Comes across the middle, takes the drive down low, and extends over the end line. It'll be a 16-yard hit for the Falkyar Falcons. Right now, statistically, we've got 27 shots. Uh, 18 of them been on goal uh, with seven scores. Um, Starting to make a lot of really nice touch passes down low for the Tigers. Uh, they're flooding the zone. Taylor Umweg with a nice, nice foul created. She'll pick up the restart, go wide to Maddie Van, who brings the ball into the circle, reverse edge, uh, deflection off of the Falcons. And that would be two more saves for Bailey Hilton, who has 13 saves on the day. Bailey's played a really nice nice job in cage today. There aren't many defenses out there that are in the single and double A that can handle the pressure that tabs forwards and midfield will put on them. They're even trying at this point to drop back some girls to try to help. Uh, but uh, they have to be commended that they're not trying to put everybody into the circle. They're literally still trying to give their best effort out there offensively, uh, leaving some outside options up top. Uh, that's Megan Deal in the center. And picked off by... Haley Mills passes it across to Haley Van. Gives it back to Macy Peebles with a touch down low. Three, three saves in the corner. That 
That's the second corner of the second half. Be Haley Van on the injection. Pass up top. Lauren Mitchum goes down low. Reverse edge shot. Put the ball high in another corner. Injection on the corner. Pass across the top. Picked up by Morgan Ames. Just attempted to get a deflection. The shot was outside the circle, so it's not an official shot, nor was it on goal. Uh, they were looking to get the ball inside low and get a nice deflection for another goal. Uh, games like this can be a little tough when you're up or down. Uh, but you still have to stick to the fundamentals, and that's what Tab is attempting to do. They're still sticking to their team. Uh, they got a breakout coming. Uh, Marissa O'Brien will pick up the ball and get the ball through. Lindsay Cimarelli, and she continues to carry it up. Macy Peebles, this is where they can be really deadly is in the open space if they can get them spread out. She passes it up, picked up by Haley Miller. Does a nice job for Falkier, stepping into the passing lane. Now Macy comes back and helps and recovers on defense and controls the ball. Haley Mills makes a beautiful cut across the midfield. Now she's got an option left and right. Attempts to pick the ball up. Delayed foul. Stops the ball, picks it back up, going on the restart. Nice step across by Lauren Mitchum. Uh, Falkier right now attempts to have about, appears to have about five or six girls that are uh, in the middle. They're trying to clog that middle of the field. That was Lauren Allison on the outside left edge, uh, getting some valuable playing time in a competitive, in this type of level of competition. Uh, Pass goes up over the end line. There'll be a 16-yard hit coming out again. So now on defense, going across the back, we've got Kieran playing the right side. you got Betsy Wusk in the center, and you got Lauren Allison playing on the left side. So Betsy, who's been a four-year starter back there for the, the middle of the defense, uh, is going to anchor that and try to show some leadership to the other girls that are there and continue to guide them. She'll be the cornerback quarterback of that team back there on defense. Ball goes wide from Matty Van. Lauren Mitchum brings the ball across. And two swats, two misses. And that was a beautiful pass by Lauren Mitchum into the circle. Uh, crossed the goalie's face. And Tad was unfortunate. Couldn't get a stick on the ball. Uh, missed not once but twice. Uh, free, free hit for uh, Tab. Got the ball into the circle with the uh, deflection wide. This will be free hit for the Falcons. Haley Miller again with a drive, trying to get the ball up and stretch the field. Betsy West does a nice job coming up through the middle and keeping the Falcons at rest to get the ball back across the middle. Nice passes. And this is Macy Peebles. Second shot, third shot. In the third one. Chelsea Porchi is on the goal. Assist from Morgan Ames. Makes a score tab eight and Fauquier zero. Even though the Virginia High School League voted and uh, does have a uh, what they consider to be a mercy rule in field hockey of six goals, there is no such thing when we get to regional and state play. Uh, it makes it really tough uh, to, to reduce the amount of time when you get to this level of play. And uh, in a case like this, if we were 
if it was to come into a play, we wouldn't give these other girls an opportunity to play. So uh, it's nice to to not have that rule when we get to this level of play. Everybody gets the experience. These kids have worked their butts off all year in practice and certainly deserve to play. Uh, nice uh, tackle. There's a jab by Allie White. Pick back up by Katie McCoy on the outside. She tries to dribble on the wide side and goes over to the sideline. Lauren Allison will pick up the ball and take a free hit off the left sideline. Pass to the edge to Lauren Mitchum, who comes across the face into the top of the circle. Uh, attempts to create a foul. Haley Van does create a foul on Katie McCoy. These are potentially a lot of future stars out here for the, the young tab team that's on the field right now. Uh, they've got a couple seniors out there that are holding it down. But uh, this is definitely giving uh, Coach Wilson an opportunity to, to give some of her younger players some valuable playing experience going into next year. Melissa Progar come back in, controlling the middle of the field now. Melissa is a seasoned veteran for Coach Wilson. Uh, does a really nice job controlling that midfield. That will be the Falcons' ball. Last last touch by Matty Van of Tab. Melissa Progar picks up the pass in the middle of the field. Nice dribbling down through the middle of the field. Uh, passes it up to Chelsea Portuguese and couldn't catch up with it. It goes over the end line, and that will be a Falcons' ball coming out. Haley Miller on the free hit. Keeps the ball down. Picked up by Maddie Van. And Haley Van, her sister. So they're a little bit congested right now. Haley creates a foul. That'll be a tab free hit. Outside the 25. Being outside of 25, Haley elects to take a, uh, take a drive. It's a drive with a save. Drive by Karen Enoch just inside the circle. Saved by Bailey Hilton. <laughs> Allie White up on the right-hand side. Uh, creates a foul against Matty Van. It'll be a free hit just outside the 25. Drive by Allie White, again, defended by Laura Mitchum. Megan Deal takes the, going inside the uh, dash, trying to come across and earn something. It's kept back out. Kept out by Lauren Allison and then touched by Lauren Mitchum. Coming upfield and transitioning up to Karen Enoch. It's on the right-hand side. Passes up to Morgan Ames, overlaps with Morgan Ames. Controls on the right side of the, uh, of the circle. Picked up by Haley Miller on the inside. That'd be a third man violation. Picked up by Melissa Progar just inside the circle. Foul created by the Falcons against Courtney King, number two, a tab. Lauren Allison picks up the ball, keeps up the pressure up top. Pass across the cage. Kept in by Chelsea Portuguese inside the circle. Pushed out by Haley Miller to the right sideline. That will be self-started by Kara Enoch. Drop passes back to Kieran. Morgan Ryan comes out of the defensive side of the field. Picks up the ball. Looking for some overlap help. Elizabeth Maldonado pushes the ball through. Allie White tries to overlap her. And Betsy West is going to defend for tab. Betsy goes with an aerial. 
Uh, Betsy has one of the nicest aerials in our area. Uh, very well known for getting 30 to 40 yard lifts. Megan Deal uh, trying to defend it by Courtney King wide. Uh, channeled very nice by Laura Mitchum and Courtney. Megan Gabney is up to assist Megan Deal. Trying to earn something, trying to earn a corner, trying to earn to get some momentum going. Lauren Mitchum does a nice job with the ball, touches it up top. MC Evans comes in. She's running in the middle of the field, pushes it out wide to Kara Enoch. A lot of youth in there for Tab right now. Trying to push the ball through the center corner. That would be the 10th corner of the game. A lot of sophomores on the field right now for Tab. Injection. Beautiful cross pass by Laura Mitchum, not connected with on the backside. Uh, cut through three different levels of offensive pressure. Haley Miller on the restart. She got the self start, had the ball picked up. MC Evans made a nice, did a nice job on getting the ball away. And between her and Lauren Mitchum earned their 11th corner of the game. Fifth corner in the second half. Tab hasn't been as precise as they can be today on their corner offense. Uh, they've gotten the shots, but they just have not been on the cage. Uh, they're looking for a lot of passers. Uh, they've done a lot of not really nice passing. They just haven't been fortunate enough to get the stick on it. That was too quick of a start for the Falcons. They'll get the one-time uh, restart without penalty. Ball to the top of the circle by Kara Enoch. And again, the ball shot. Uh, touched by Morgan Ames and Lauren Mitchum, uh, but not on the goal. That's the 38th shot today that they've taken. And they have 28 with uh, 20 saves made by Bailey Hilton. Courtney King on the left edge. Transitioning up the field. Bailey Hilton, I'm sorry, uh, Haley Miller defends her to the edge. Melissa Progar going to carry around. Come back through. Uh, she attempted to pull the ball back through to the left, and it hit the Fauquier uh, defender's foot for the restart. Uh, Taz applying pressure up near the circle, and they are in another corner. Lauren Mitchum will be taking the injection. Nice blend of players on the field right now with some experience and youth. Uh, take the ball just outside the circle. Gets it back in. Earn another corner. Keep the, uh, keep the advantage. And Bailey Hilton made her 21st save of the day. Substitution, Lauren Mitchum out, Maddie Landers in. They're trying to transition up the field. Uh, again with this turf, that'll roll out of bounds. And Lauren Allison will pick up the ball for the re, uh, self start. Passes up to Courtney King. Melissa Progar going to work the middle of the field. 
Again, it's becoming congested. Foul created. Progar back to Umweg, and she'll self-start. No foul. Nobody near her uh, on the drive. It's picked up up top by Raquel Quintana. We have a green card being issued. To number 19, Maria Claire Evans. That's one green card each. Foul created by Tab and Kerry Enoch. A uh, little bit dangerous play with the with the stick higher. Uh, Fauquier has continued to run through the play and try to pass it up. Uh, Melissa Progar uh, dribbling through the Falcon defenders and Tab is converging on the net. Just waiting for the opportunity. Take the shot on goal and another shot that's deflected wide. That would be their 40th shot today. Ball touched forward by Taylor Umweg to Courtney King. Yeah, up to Maddie Landers, and again, just pass to the left side of the goal cage. Another free hit for Haley Miller. Taylor Umweg is passing. Taylor Armway's going to uh, try to get the pass up the forward to these forwards. Carey Enoch takes a shot, and another shot, and not touched on the left side. It really has been a, uh, a game of offensive power versus defensive stamina. And the offensive power, this, this game is very typical of how Tab scored over 150 goals this year and shut their opponents out 18 times. Uh, they, they play tremendous together. Uh, they know where each other are. They're constantly communicating. Um, it doesn't matter whether we have a freshman, a sophomore, a senior. Uh, the system is the system. They do a great job of it together. And that will wrap it up. So that will be the final score. Tab 8 and Fauquier 0. Uh, so that they will advance tomorrow to the AA state championship game versus the winner of Chancellor and Charlottesville. Uh, Bailey Hilton had a nice day in goal with 21 saves for the Fauquier Falcons. Um, Tab did end up with 41 shots. Uh, Allie Harmatz was an offensive power today with four goals. Uh, Melissa Progard did a nice job in the middle of the field and getting the assists. All in all, it was a uh, game where Tab will will be able to rest some of their players, get ready for this game tomorrow. Um, unfortunately, the season for Fauquier comes to an end. Uh, Tab is within one win of capping off their fifth straight state championship and finishing the season undefeated at 24-0. Wrap it up. I'd like to thank everybody for... Uh, Watching the game today, and we're going to wrap it up, and we'll get ready for this second game of today between Chancellor and Charlottesville.